According to friends, James Helton actually held his girlfriend captive for three days. She only managed to get away on Thursday when she told her boyfriend she needed to come here to a friend's house for medicine. She said, I'm scared to death. He's got a gun. He's got a nine millimeter. He's got a clip. He, he had me buy. He had me spend my money to buy bullets to kill me. Paul Combs says he didn't hesitate to open the door to let his friend inside his Jennings County home Thursday afternoon. Moments later, her boyfriend, identified by police as James Helton, was banging on the window. Combs said he was waving a gun, threatening to kill them both. And I let him know I do have a gun. And that's when he backed up. He backed up. He got in his truck and he left. Sheriff's deputies arrived to Helton's home on the Jackson Jennings County line minutes later. His truck was parked outside and officers believed they heard someone inside a camper. State police eventually went inside, but Helton was nowhere to be found. The search to find him has been underway ever since. We're not going to stop until we locate Mr. Helton. People aren't taking lunch breaks. We're not taking time off. This is someone that we need to bring in and, and have him arrested. Police say Helton should be considered armed and dangerous. The victim claims Helton beat and tortured her, even cutting off her hair during the three days she was held against her will. Combs says until Helton is caught, he and his friend are terrified. He's a menace to society. He needs off the streets. He's a danger to everybody. In Jennings County, Lauren Adams, WLKY 